Supply and demand drive markets towards equilibrium. Market equilibrium is achieved when the quantity producers are willing and able to supply is equal to the quantity that consumers are willing and able to purchase. There's only one price where supply equals demand. In this market, equilibrium occurs at a price of $3 where three units will be offered and purchased. If the current market price is above equilibrium, too much will be supplied. For example, if the price in this market is $4, consumers will demand two units, which is less than the four units firms want to sell. Thus, a surplus of two units results. This surplus will drive the price down. Lower prices increase the quantity that consumers want, but reduce the number that firms can supply. Consumers and suppliers make adjustments until the market price is driven down to $3, where everything supplied is purchased. If the current market price is below equilibrium, consumers will demand more units than what firms are willing to offer. This means a shortage exists. Consumers can't find everything they want. This leads to a bidding process which drives up the price. As the price rises, consumers won't want as many, but suppliers will have an incentive to supply more. Adjustments are made until the market price rises to equilibrium, where again, everything supplied is purchased. Thus, high prices result in surpluses that drive prices down, and low prices lead to shortages that drive prices up. In free markets, prices adjust up or down to ensure that shortages or surpluses are resolved. Whatever the situation, market forces will drive every marketplace towards its equilibrium price and quantity. When market conditions change, it is always the result of changes or shifts in demand, supply, or both. A change in demand is caused by a change in a demand factor other than the goods price. Rather than moving along a demand curve in response to a change in price, the demand curve shifts. An increase in demand means that consumers value this item more than before. Tastes may have changed. Their incomes may have increased. The price of substitutes may have risen. The price of complements may have gone up. Thus, they want more at any given price. Conversely, a decrease in demand means that consumers don't value this item as much as they did before. Thus, they will demand less at any given price. A shift of the supply curve is caused by a change in a supply factor other than the goods on price. An increase in supply means that sellers can supply more at any price than before. The cost of inputs may have fallen, or a change in technology has made suppliers more productive. Conversely, a decrease in supply means it has become more difficult to make this item. Thus, they will offer less at any given price. Understanding market forces is essential to understanding what is happening in a marketplace. Supply and demand can either increase or decrease. Thus, the effect of market forces can be summarized by four simple rules. Falling demand puts downward pressure on prices and quantity. Increasing demand puts upward pressure on prices and quantity. Lower supply puts upward pressure on price but downward pressure on quantity. Increasing supply puts downward pressure on price and upward pressure on quantity. 
Sometimes more than one force is at work. The effects can reinforce each other, or they can work against each other.